Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are going to install everything under other bug fixes. Those zany mod authors and creators just don't know when to quit when it comes to fixing Skyrim. Bethesda owes you loads, as well as the rest of the modding community. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create that separator. Let's copy this. Click on them, tiny wrench and spanner. Create the separator and paste. And then after we do that, we're gonna dive into just genuinely intelligent soul trap SE. A new and approved solution to the underfilled soul gem problem. So let's download that. Go into files. And here's the main file. Let's do it. Right, now let's install it. Boom, one down. Excellent. Ask innkeepers to show room SE. Instead of always showing you to your rented room, you can ask innkeepers to show you or tell them you know where it is. And we're gonna extract the BSA for this one. Uh, version 1.1, not 1.1, 1.0, download. Files, mod manager download. Good. All right, let's install it. Okay. And now this is gonna be the first time we ever extract a BSA. This is how you do it. Just click yes. Ooh, do you wish to remove BSAs after extractions completed? Yes, you do. Yes. And that's it. Seriously, that's all it was. Don't talk with your mouth full. Have you ever wondered how everyone in Skyrim can speak perfectly through mouthfuls of bread and mead? Well, you won't have to anymore with this incredibly simple fix. I simply put conditions on the sitting, standing, eating, and drinking animations to not play while in dialogue with the players. They will still hold on to whatever they're eating, but won't take a bite until you leave. For that immersion sake, you know? So, version 1.1, download. Files, mod manager download. Nice. And then double click to install. Don't talk with your mouth full. Very good. Bard instrumentals mostly sing rarely. This mod makes it so bards sing less frequently in taverns. This is a good mod. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but uh, if you hang out in a tavern for a while, the singing does get a little annoying. This fixes that. So download it. Files. Mod manager download. Nice. Double click to install. Keep that name. Good. Check it off. Right. Dragon stalking fix. Extract the BSA. This mod fixes the vanilla game issue of dragon corpses sometimes randomly spawning near the player when changing cells uh, post soul absorption. Main file, dragon stalking fix. There's a full mod. And there's a special step where that we're gonna delete the DSP, which is a dummy ESP. Whoop. All right, so let's download it. I said, let's download it. Very good. Files, mod manager, close the page, double click. And from here, let's go through the full mod. So next, next, install, and yeah, useless full mod. <laughs> Okay, let's extract the BSA yes and yes. And before we activate, let's get rid of that dummy ESP. So right click, open and explore, and we're gonna delete the dragon stalking fix.esp. Delete. Well done. And let's activate it. Fuzrodo silent voice. This mod enhances support for unvoiced in-game dialogue. It does so by coercing the engine in a non-violent way into playing a generic silent voice and lip sync file whenever it comes across a dialogue response without a voice assets of its own. Ergo, mod authors need not create and bundle silent voice files in their, in their distribution packages. Okay, let's download it. Files and who's Rolo? Mod manager download. Double clickety click to install it. Okay. Activate it. Now, horns are forever. Persistent Argonian horns. We're going to extract it. And there's some additional steps here. So let's go and download it. Mod merger download. And uh, this mod allows Argonian horns to always show when they're wearing headgear, except when it covers their entire head. So let's install it. Okay. Yes and yes. Before we activate it, let's do these steps. We're going to delete some meshes and the dummy ESP. So right click open and explore delete that plugin so now we're gonna go into meshes actors character base gen 
Face Geome, Skyrim.esm, and we're looking for 5046.nif. So, yeah, there it is right there. And just go ahead and delete that. Right click, delete. Now, JT, why did we delete that? Well, here it is right here, the reason. As Elas Tai is covered by CRF, and CRF remains packed in the BSA, Horns are forever is overriding her face gen, causing a dark face bug. Not good. All right. So, lock overhaul ordinator version. Useful for bashing open those annoying locks. We're gonna download the main file. And we got some additional steps here with the creation kit. So let's go ahead and download it. Version 1.6. Files, version 1.6. Boom, download. Close that window and let's install it. Boom. Okay. So now we're gonna have to activate it. Exit it will spew out errors on local lock overhaul ordinator version. Solution load and receive the lock overhaul.esp in the crazy kit. This should stop it. So uh, we're not exactly um, converting from form 33, so we're not gonna follow those specific steps, you know, checking for errors, uh, sorting masters, and etc. In this case, all we're doing is loading it up into Creation Kit and then uh, resaving it and exiting out of Creation Kit. And this is how you do it. And the drop down menu here, go to Creation Kit and run. This might take a little while, but not too bad. Okay, not too bad at all, that was it. So click the little folder icon here to open, locate the lock overall right here, double click it, boom. And then set as active file, very good, and then okay. And let Creation Kit fully load it up. Not too shabby. Oh, it's that last little bit. So resistant. Come on. You can do it. Oh, there we go. Well done. All right. Then after that, the little floppy disk here for the for you youngins. You're like, what's oh, a floppy disk? Well, to hell with you. Just click this button right here. Boom. Saving, done. Now we could exit out of the creation kit. And yeah, that's it for that. Good job. Make sure there isn't anything else we need to do. And we don't, okay. Lexi's Legacy of Dragonborn main menu replacer. This is a custom main menu replacer for use with Legacy's Dragon, Legacy of Dragonborn Skyrim special edition modding. It's pretty cool. It's, it's not bad. So let's go download it in the main files. Oh, there's only one file. Download it. And yeah, there it is. This is what it looks like. <laughs> so snazzy. All right, so let's install it. Double click, okay. And then activate it. Point the way. This mod places road signs at several major intersections that were either lacking signs or didn't have enough signs to indicate the full extent of possible travel on the road. In some cases, the smaller towns and villages aren't even mentioned, despite Bethesda having created signs for them. Others that were pointed the wrong way or had the wrong city being represented have been fixed as well. Version 2.0.6. Download. Files. And let's download it. Okay. And yeah. Click to install. And we are not going to be unpacking this, so no. And then activate. Raven Rock fix exit on horseback. When using horse mods in Solstum, Solstime, you might have issue, issues exiting Raven Rock through the small shaft. This small tweak aims to fix that. Sounds good. Version 1. Download. Files. Mod Manager download. Close it out. Let's install it. Boom, boom. Easy to piece it. Skyrim Project Optimization SE. This mod improves the performance in, it, in interiors without changing anything visually in the game by utilizing occlusion culling. Yes, extra frame rates is good. And we're gonna download the ESL version. Files. And the ESL version is just uh, the very top, the very first one. Here we go. Double click. Okay. Activate. Now, moving on to sound hammering sounds. Sound hammering sounds, okay. This mod fixes a sound bug when NPCs would perform house repairs or maintenance on the mast of a ship. This action will no longer make the sound of hammering on metal. Instead, it will make appropriate wooden sound. Main file, sound hammering sounds, version one. 
files. Mod manager download. Good. And okay. That is now installed. Better jumping SE. This mod allows you to jump rolls while sprinting. Also, you can then you can configure jump height multiplier. How many times you can jump, double jump like in an action game. That is awesome. I always install this, but I don't think I ever really, yeah, utilize this to the fullest. Maybe I should. Play a Khajiit or something. Download. Files. And let's download the main file here. Download it. Install it. Install it. Okay. And activate it. And the last mod we're going to install for this video is To Your Face Redux. To your face! This KSC plugin that stops NPC comments unless they're directly facing the player. Inspired by Under the Skies To Your Face plugin from Legendary Edition. More immersion. Or eh, maybe quality of life. I don't know. What would you call that? Okay, mod manager download. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Double click to install. And there we go. Wow, we, we totally blew through that. Good job, guys. I'm proud of you. Yes. Okay, that's going to be the end of that video. I will see you in the next video where we will tackle general user interface improvements. Have a good one, people.